Overall, manufacturing in Wisconsin is one of the biggest parts of our state's economy. We often say that we're a hidden jewel that may not come top of mind, but once people get here, they don't want to leave and they want to grow their business in the state of Wisconsin. One of the most significant changes we made over the last few years is to put in place a manufacturing production tax credit. And by tax year 2016, it wipes out almost all the taxable liability for manufacturers. Places like GE Healthcare and others have found that Wisconsin is an incredibly competitive place to be located in and to operate out of. We have more than a billion dollars in academic research and development each year just at the University of Wisconsin in Madison alone. It also helps in terms of our proximity. With our tremendous access to our roads, our bridges, our freight rail, and particularly our ports, opens us to markets all around the world. And part of the reason why we have so many manufacturers here is not only because of our proud heritage, but because we've got a great supplier chain, we've got a great business climate, we've got a tremendous opportunity to not only have it be a part of our past, but an exciting part of our future. So Kerry is the leading supplier of flavors and ingredients in the world. A strategic decision had to be made. Where was Kerry going to invest its North American headquarters? And in consultation with Kerry management, Beloit was chosen as the North American headquarters. We've got access to universities and the education systems. Our suppliers are also here as well. Also look at the, uh, the science and technology, uh, the knowledge that's coming into the local economy. The innovation that we have here at Mariner Marine is all about uh, finishing the ship um, in the most efficient way possible. WEDC is an important partnership. They've been very supportive, helping us link up with Wisconsin-based suppliers. The propulsion engines come from Beloit. There's a number of major components that come from Milwaukee. The thing that I like about the Wisconsin infrastructure is there are resources available to our small and mid-sized manufacturers that maybe wouldn't be available to some larger companies. You have a community of manufacturers here in the state of Wisconsin that really have a passion around what they do and a supply base that, that really understands their customers. I think that Wisconsin is really set up to continue to grow manufacturing in the state. Right now, 23% of the jobs in Northeast Wisconsin are manufacturing jobs. That's the largest per capita of any region in the country. Today we have access to suppliers and customers all over the world. But what's interesting is that still today, many of our best suppliers are found right here in the state of Wisconsin. Because of the cost competitiveness that they have, because of the quality of work that they do with their products and services. You find a level of quality and loyalty here that you really don't find easily in other places around the world. The world of manufacturing has evolved so significantly to being a place of high technology. The kind of talent that our customers and ourselves are looking for are people that have the training and skills, problem solving skills, technical skills, computer skills, the ability to understand how to leverage that technology. This is our largest CNC floor bar. We're doing very large custom parts. In the last several years, the state has been very responsive to our needs. It's funding for tech colleges, having grants available for the tech colleges and for the manufacturers. Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation has been very supportive in our initiatives. They came up with the Enterprise Zone tax credit to help make us more competitive so that we can be successful in, in landing the contract. When I don't have enough resources here at Oshkosh, I can lean on the WMEP for extra bandwidth to help our suppliers develop new ways to do things to be more productive, to uh, improve their quality, and ultimately become more competitive. It's of course exciting to see that we can take what we do as our research aspects and transfer it back over to our community and to the industries. We have the very basic work and we do have the people who know how to apply it into technology. I'm really proud to say that for our company, 60% of our philanthropic resources are dedicated to investing in the future talent in our community and around the world. It's all about dialogue, it's relationship, it's that partnership. Kerry is continuing to work with the WEDC to uh, further invest in the state of Wisconsin. Wisconsin has a great work ethic. I'll put it up against any other state or any other country in the world. We have people who are bought into our philosophy, they're bought into our mission and our vision. They can innovate, they can uh, take on the challenge and make it happen. And I think that's what Wisconsin offers. 
Around the country, I hear the need for more skilled workers, but just talking about it doesn't get it done. So we have a Wisconsin Fast Forward program that provides customized worker training, whether it's engineers, fabricators, machinists, high-skilled welders. Those are positions we've invested hundreds of millions of dollars in to make sure that manufacturers have the employees they need right away when they come into the state of Wisconsin and grow here. Almost a half a million people are employed by manufacturing in Wisconsin. That's why it's just such an important part why we're so committed to helping manufacturers grow and attracting other manufacturers from around the country and around the world.